Hi guys, Fabio Bonanno, Smart Tech Sponsored Athlete and NBR Representative. Today I am talking about plateaus. When I say plateaus, I mean plateaus in training. When you get to that stage that you've been training for so long and you just can't get by that certain weight and you're wondering why you're putting in all the effort uh, and you're going nowhere. Firstly, I'm going to ask you to ask yourself, are you doing everything you can? I see guys in the gym and they're resting for 2-3 minutes between a set and don't get me wrong that's fine if you're training for strength but if you want your muscles to grow specifically for hypertrophy if you want the biggest gains in your muscle size then you need to keep that rest period down so guys no fucking about in the gym don't sit there and chat to your friends for 5 minutes and wonder why you're not getting bigger than everyone else is guys you've got to put in the work if you want the results it's not going to come easy nothing ever does if it's worthwhile getting. So I'm going to try and give you my insight and a few proven techniques to help you get by these plateaus. As I said, firstly, you're not getting anywhere because you're not putting in the work. That's it. You might think you are, but you've got to overload the muscle. If you're working out, for talking say for six, six, seven, eight, nine, ten months, and you're doing four sets of ten and you've been doing that for the past 10 months and you wonder why you're not growing your body's got used to it and it's just another day for it so guys you've got to change it up there's many different ways of doing that obviously the main one is overloading the weight if you've been doing 4 sets of 10 at 100k for talking sake, whatever weight you're doing, whatever exercise then 4 sets of 10 try the next week putting up to 102.5 you won't get your four sets of ten, but that means your body has been shocked. It's got to adapt. Um, as I said, that's the most basic way of doing it. There are other methods. Again, it's all about putting stress in the muscle. So one of the methods is negatives. Um, all you're doing there is doubling, tripling, extending the amount of time the muscle is under tension. Basically, guys, if you can make the muscle work harder for longer, the body, again, has got to adapt. So you see everyone... They're benching and they're going like that really fast. Guys, that's not getting anything. You need to feel it in the muscle. Think about the muscle you're working. So if I'm doing my chest, I'm going to lie back, I'm going to get myself set up, proper technique, and I'm going to contract the muscle, feel my chest working, and then let it come down. When I say negatives, as I said, most people are one, maybe two seconds up, two seconds down. I'd maybe think about doing one second up and do three, four, five seconds down really really slow and guys in a few reps you'll start to feel that really burning what's going to happen there is the muscle is not used to being worked for that long it's getting fatigued quicker because your 10 reps is taking you for talking sake normally 20 seconds whereas now it's going to take 40 to 50 seconds so you can imagine how much stress the muscle is under um, the next one is the same again putting the muscle under more stress more tension drop sets, so you do 100k in the bench, you go, you do your 10 reps, normally you sit there and rest, don't rest, pick up 80k, maybe 70k, do the same again, keep going, um, that's just called a normal drop set, you've got double drop sets, triple, so you can drop the weight as much as you want, but I'd say maybe get two or three working sets and do this on the second last set or maybe even the last set and you'll really feel your muscle working. Pyramids is another method. So again, you are changing the way your body has to work. So you can, for talking sake, do 15 reps to start off with and pyramid down. So as the weight goes up, your reps come down. So 15 reps, weight goes up, 10 reps, weight goes up, 5 reps. If you want to go to extreme, weight goes up to 3, 2, maybe even your 1 rep max. That's an ascending pyramid. You've got a descending, which means as long as you're warm, so do your warm-up sets, Start off with your two, three rep max. So one, two, three, take your rest, then go back down five, maybe ten reps. So obviously you're dropping the weight, you're banging out the reps, then drop it again, 15 reps. Pretty self explanatory, guys. All you need to do is push through it. Another one is burnouts. So I'm going to relate to chest again. If you're benching, you've done all your exercises, you think your chest is fatigued, guys. Something as simple as press-ups. Imagine just finishing off your chest, you're tired, and you drop down and go really deep. 
feel that stretch, hold that contraction and squeeze right up and you'll feel your pecs working. Instant muscle soreness guys. Again, breaking the muscles down, making the body have to adapt. Guys, these techniques are fairly basic but it all comes down to hard work. If you're doing the same thing day in day out, it's not going to happen. Uh, increase intensity guys, so you could be doing the same weights but if you rest for talking sake normally a minute and a half, you drop your rest to a minute, then your body doesn't have the same amount of time to recover and you have to adapt. So in the next workout you will be able to rest a bit more efficiently and your body will be able to get those extra reps out. All these training tips aside guys, you must have a plan, I cannot stress that enough. Guys, if you're going in the gym, you don't know what you're doing, okay I'm doing chest, uh, I think I'll bench, I think I'll do some flies. Guys, it's not happening, you need to put it on paper. Guys, have it on your wall. Guys, it's got to make sense in your head, so you've got to know what you're doing, otherwise you're wandering aimlessly and you're going nowhere in your training. Guys, anything in life, you've got to have something on paper, something in your head, a general direction, because otherwise you're going nowhere, as I said. I mean, before I personally trained hard without this plan, I found myself, I was making reasonable gains because the intensity was there, but there's no consistency guys, you've got to be consistent, that's the key to everything. Uh, so the intensity is high guys, I bought a watch off of eBay, I think it was £12 a stopwatch guys, I time my rests, there's no messing, I've got my headphones on, I don't talk to anybody, the time for talking to people is once you've done, you get in 45 minutes, one hour, you're finished, you can talk all you want, that's you've done the hard work. Um, that stopwatch was the best invent investment for my intensity. So, guys, I would invest in a stopwatch, get something on paper, have a plan, incorporate your drop sets, your pyramids, your negatives, guys, just change it up, but have a, maybe an eight week plan minimum, so you know what you're doing for the next eight weeks. Write your workout, if your rest is a Sunday, that's what I personally do, write out my, previ my next week's workouts, and when I show up to the gym, I've got my music, I've got my stopwatch, I've got my workout, I know exactly what I'm doing, mentally focused, and I'm ready to go. Once you've done that guys, uh, recovery, so you're not going to adapt if you go out and have McDonald's and eat crap, so guys make sure you get that nutrition, it's all about nutrition. Guys the gym is the easy part, if you cannot be bothered doing anything in the kitchen, you're not going to make the gains you want, so it's all about recovery guys, training smart. Uh, sleeping and of course the nutrition. Um, yeah, it just came to me there, another reason uh, to change things up. Train with somebody else, try their workout. As long as they're intense and you know that they, they know what they're talking about, your body is not used to their workout, it's totally changing it up. Um, for talking sake, you're used to working in a 6 to 8 rep range, they're used to working in 12 to 15, that alone will put the muscle under more stress. Um, and it's going to have to adapt. Guys, it's all about adaptation, keeping the body guessing, uh, and as I said, just getting that muscle bigger, because that's all we want at the end of the day, guys. Anyway, I feel I've covered most of it. I have been rambling a bit, but guys, uh, keep up the hard work. Fabio Bonanno, Smart Tech Sponsored Athlete. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Keep up the hard work and most importantly, keep it natural. Thanks for watching guys. Cheers.